Hello there, my Purple Bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon White 2. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we took on Verbank's gym leader, Roxy, and obtained the Toxic Badge. In today's episode, we are going to continue our adventure. I've gone ahead and healed up our team. It was a very, very tough fight, as you guys know. And now we're going to proceed onwards. If you guys remember, they told us that we should go check out a movie studio, which I found a little strange, but here they are. Ooh, I see that kid sounds promising. Indeed, and that kid should be here any moment. Oh, and look who should appear. Welcome to Pokestar Studios. Hey, Roger, we've been waiting for you. This is our boss, Mr. Studio. Bonjour, hello, I am Studio, charmed, I'm sure. So you must be Rodri, we were just talking about you. I'd like to explain Pokestar Studios, but I need a little time to prepare. I'm so sorry, darling, could you wait an easy moment? In the meantime, I'll show you around Pokestar Studios. Ooh, that would be marvelous! Movies, they're amazing! Pokestar Studios inspires and moves people all over the world! You can make sure Rodri experiences its many charms! Well then, I absolutely must be off and start my preparations! I'll see you in a minute! That's my boss for you! What graceful footwork! Well then, Rodri, come with me! So I've heard a lot about this movie studio type thing, and I guess it's just one of those side things in Pokemon, kind of like the contest. I'm not really going to, you know, think about it too much, so let's just have fun with it and see what happens. First, let me tell you briefly what Pokestar Studios is all about. Pokestar Studios is built for making films. It's a movie metropolis. Many films are made and released right here. Okay, well that's kind of cool. You know, I, I'm into that, so let's go ahead and take a look around and see what you got in store for us, you blonde haired man. Oh man, look at this palace! This is the theater! Of course, this is where the films are showing! Movie fans from all over also gather here! How about we have a look inside? Sure, I love movies! It's probably one of my favorite things to do is go to the movies or just like, pop one in and watch it! Here we are! This is the reception area! Oh, if it isn't the scout himself! Thanks to you, I've made my movie debut! Wow, I'm glad to hear that! Hey, who would that be? This is Rodri. I witnessed this trainer challenging your daughter. It struck me. Here's someone with real potential. A fresh discovery for Pokestar Studios. You be Roxy, I see. You must be a pretty good trainer. Oh, you know what? They're releasing my movie now. Are you thinking about making a Pokestar Studios debut too? Then I do insist you watch my movie in order to gain acting tips from a professional such as myself. That's a good idea. Rodri should be a good introduction to filmmaking for you. Awesome, let's go. All right, I guess we're gonna go with Roxy's dad and we're gonna catch a flick that's kind of cool i'm gonna go ahead and just like move through this a little bit faster because i know that from here on out it's kind of just uh from what i've been told by friends and from the comments that you guys left me it's just some really really weird stuff apparently uh it's just like people dressed up and it's a fake fight so it's like a staged fight or something which is a little bit weird that name bryson sounds very very familiar and it looks like a movie is happening here. So it's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and check it out. It looks like the hero's name is Ryolu, man. I've also noticed that Ryolu is kind of a big part of the game lately. I don't know if it's just because we caught a Ryolu or if that's just what they did. I really couldn't tell you. While we're watching this movie, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about some stuff. As I mentioned to you guys, I was in El Salvador. And I had the chance to go on a lot of really cool trips. I went to the, my, the beach with my family for like three days. Oh, uh, I got so burnt. You have no idea. My shoulders are still like red. Like I got so burnt. But it was a really nice experience. I just want to say like if you ever get the chance to spend time with your family. Like I actually had a couple like random things come up. And for a second I thought that I wasn't even going to be able to st be able to stay there the whole time with them. But I decided to and I am so thankful that I, I got the chance to. One of the things going into El Salvador during the summer for me was like, hey, if I'm going to go out there, I want to make sure that I make the most of every opportunity. And that's how I've been feeling about the summer. And I really feel like since I went there, I'm just trying to live to the fullest. Like, it, it, I've always done that, but it has inspired me even more. It's kind of crazy how, like, one little week you can go through can change your life so much. I got a question the other day. Someone told me, they're like... Oh, do you think you're the same, you're different than you were five years ago? And I was like, I'm different than I was last week, a year ago. It's insane how fast people can change. It's not, I don't think it's because of the time. I think it's because of like what you go through and, you know, 
the change in yourself. And I just thought, you know, it's something good to tell you guys about while we were watching this strange movie with a guy that seemed very familiar. And uh, I guess the, the captain looking guy over here still has a couple more things to teach us. What's the matter? <laughs> I've always dreamed of making my debut on the silver screen. Now I've fulfilled that dream. What are you saying? Different people have different talents. I knew it all along. But I see my daughter striving to be uh, the balance or responsibility of being a gym leader while pursuing her own dream of being in a band. Although I'm a father, I really wanted to pursue my own long-held dream. If you stop pursuing your dreams, your life might as well be over, right? That's a really great quote right there. I'm going back to my duties as a ship captain for now. Someday I'll return to the screen. Until that day comes, I'll leave all the starring roles to you. Alright, see you later, my friend. Thanks for the tips. We better get going. Mr. Dio should be ready by now. I, I like that. <laughs> Mr. Dio. Stu Dio. That's fantastic. You know, see what you see what I did there? I guess. Yeah, funny joke. No one, no one ever understands my jokes. I was talking to my friends about that. Uh, like, we were just goofing around. And I was telling them, I was like, why does no one laugh at my dumb jokes? All I want is for someone for once to understand them. And look, it looks like Mr. Studio is up ahead. Well, now thanks for coming. First, let me reintroduce myself. My name is Stu Dio. I'm the owner of Pokestar Studio. So, Rodri, darling, I brought you here because I have a very important request of you. I'll bet you figured it out, but I want you to be in Pokestar Studios movies. Wait, wait. We're gonna film a movie? All right, I guess we should take care of that then. Let's have some fun with it and see what this happens since the game uh, isn't letting us out. Whoa, that's Bryson. I'm Bryson, pleased to meet you. Bryson is focused on studios for enjoy, a marquee star. I prepared a positively perfect script for a big veteran star like him and a fresh new talent like you. Those eyes, I look forward to acting with you. Bryson is actually a gym leader and I do remember him. That's actually really cool that he's a movie star now. I wonder what happened to his gym. So as you can see, these guys pretty much kidnapped us and we're gonna have to go into the film area. Not much we can do. Uh, wait, are these dudes twins? You look exactly alike. All right, let's talk to this guy. I think we actually have to shoot a film in order to be able to get out of here, if I'm correct. So let's head inside and see what's happening. Oh look, it's a green screen. And I guess we are going to be shooting something with Bryson. One of the things I've realized from this game and from the comments that you guys have left me is that it is very it's very reminiscent of other games and I think it is so cool that there are so many characters in this game that we've previously encountered and met and like the Pokemon from other regions are in this one and I just think it is so so cool I'm really enjoying this game so far and I can't even wait to see what's gonna be ahead for us whoa Super effective. And this isn't even our Ryolu because we went ahead and used the rental team. Pretty sure you can't even use your party team if I'm correct from what you guys told me. So we had to use the rentals. It's kind of cool where, uh, I'm scared. No, bring it on. I'm actually a little bit scared. Look at that guy's costume. I mean, if I'm walking down a dark street at like three in the morning and I see Bryson running up to me, that dude looks like he's from, uh, I would take off. I would be out of there. I would probably hide behind a dumpster and be like, nah, sorry, dude. Okay, that, he, how did this Ryolu get ice punch? Where can I get ice punch? I want this move. It looks like we're gonna take down this chicken thing. I've never even seen this chicken Pokemon. I have no idea what the heck that is. I've never seen it before. All right, so it seems like we're done shooting for the day. And hopefully with that, they will finally let us escape Poke Studios over here. Thanks for the shoot. Yeah, let's go ahead and release that. And we're gonna have to save. So let's save our game then. And finally, I think we're done here at Pokestar Studios. I know, it's just one of those things that the game forces you into. Not much we can do about it, but it's kind of fun to uh, get to shoot a movie here and there. It's kind of nice when, you know, a couple things get invented out of nowhere. And it looks like this guy's pretty pleased with our performance. I must say, you know, we tried very hard. I think we had a good time. Hey, boss, sorry to interrupt at the time. Ooh, that's right, got it. Boo, so sorry, Rodri, darling. I have to hurry off, but Rodri, you should go see how your debut turned out. All right, wait, where's our debut? I thought, how did they produce the movie so fast? I can't produce them that fast. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here then. And I think we've pretty much taken care of everything we had to here in Pocus Star Studios. 
Yay! Pokestar Studios! I don't think there's much else for us to do here in this place. Uh, but I'll see. I think now that we're done here, let's go see if we can find Roxy or someone else to tell us a little something else we should do. Because I'm really unsure of where we're supposed to go right now. And whoa, who's this? So you are you guys Team Plasma then? That's right, with Team Plasma two years ago, we were betrayed by the man we respected as our king and hero. So our conquest of the Unova region ended in failure. However, we'll never give up. We will persevere. We already have another plan in motion. Shut it! You guys are the worst! You talk about saving Pokemon, but you're just Pokemon thieves. Don't think I'll ever forgive you. In the ranch, we got chased by Lily Pub. And now we're getting involved in trouble. This kind of stinks. Well, it's okay, isn't it, if we steal their Pokemon? Okay, kiddos, when you're ready, give it your best shot. All right, I'll go ahead and take on these Pokemon. I'll crush you and your new plans. I can never forgive Team Plasma. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we can beat you. All right, let's go ahead and take on this Team Plasma grunt then. You know what? Team Plasma gave us a lot of trouble about two years ago. Let's see how much they've improved since then. Since, uh, you know, we've probably improved quite a bit too. They're going to send out a Patra. It's only level 14. We actually got a lot of experience from our previous battle. So we should be able to take it down. Pretty easily. I'm gonna go for the tackle. I'm, I'll, I'll try the leaf storm after. I think we'll be able to take it down with no trouble, honestly. Look at that! Let's go for another tackle then. I like how we're not even faster than it right now, even though we should be with three levels ahead. Oh, how did it not go down there? Seriously? This should take. Oh my gosh! That pat rat is juiced. That thing is on some steroids. That thing took me down in like three seconds. How did that even happen? All right, I'm gonna go back for the quick attack. And there we go. Now Patrat has fainted and we defeated the Grunt. See you guys later, dang. I can believe kids like these kind of stuff God, Let's run. Just what a bunch of creeps. Split up, you so chick, Route 20. If I'd lost my fresh Pokemon, it would have been taken. Thanks, you two. Use this. Oh, we obtained HM01 Cut. So very cool. I don't know who we should teach that to yet. So if you guys have any tips, let me know. That's a hidden machine, right? It's Cut. Pokemon that know Cut can use it even when they're not in battle to cut down small trees. Oh, but more importantly, let's go after Team Plasma. Come on. All right, I guess we're going to the route. And uh, let's go ahead and see if we can figure something out. All right, I guess in Route 20 is where some Team Plasma grunts are going to be hiding. I'm sure we'll be able to find them. I love searching me some Team Plasma grunts. On my free time, I like to, uh, you know, take long, uh, long runs in the grass. I like to throw Pokeballs and catch Pokemon. I really enjoy doubles battles and uh, having a good time with friends. Because that's what life is all about. You turn around. All right, let's go ahead and beat up this little girl. I don't think it'll take us too long. I was really hoping we didn't have to take her on. But annoying little preschooler Lynn is going to take us on. All right, her lily pup. Ooh, Ace Row is up. Good. Oh, crap. I completely forgot that uh, we fainted our Snivy. So we only have Ace Row up right now. You know what? These Pokemon aren't even, like, as strong as us right now, so we should be good to continue on. Let's keep on going. See you later, pre- What? Wait, don't you get a Pokemon when you turn 10? Why the heck does a preschooler have a Pokemon? How does that make any sense whatsoever? All right, let's go ahead and search then. I think the Pokemon Plasma guy is going to be over here, and yeah. No, 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 we don't need a repel. Let's talk to her. Yeah, I really hate it when people won't let things go. All right, Team Plasma Grunt, if you won't let it go, I'm not going to let it go either. We're going to take her on and hopefully whoop her butt once and for all. Let's see what she's going to send out. A Purloin. I'm pretty sure our Ace Row will be able to take it on. All right, let's do it. It's only level 14 too. That won't be any trouble. Have you ever slapped a cat? Me either. Don't try because it'll probably claw your eyes. Oh, that thing went down easy. Awesome! And with that, I think we have took down the Team Plasma Grunt. Now that I think about it, if I run this way, no one can help me. I have to head toward the ocean. So with that in mind, I'm going to flee again. Goodbye, Burbank City. See you later, Team Plasma Grunt. And uh, here comes Tommy. Well, they're really good at running. Anyway, still, she just said something useful. They must be moving around by boat. Castelia City has a big port. I wonder if they headed there. 
Okay, let's go back to Verbank and look for someone who likes they know a lot about ships. Who looks like they know. If I remember right, there was a place to board boats on the docks. Alright, Tommy, catch you later. So it seems like we are going to have to make our way to Castelia City next. It has been quite a while since we've been in Castelia City. I'm actually looking forward to it. Am I really out of repels? Mother fudge! And of course, I'm going to have to run all the way back to the freaking city without any repel i could have sworn i had some repels what happened to them maybe i'm just like not seeing them in the bag no i totally have another repel who the heck am i kidding i just saw it like for three freaking seconds where is it repel there it is it was like hiding from me i knew it said we should use another repel so of course we're gonna have look look you little if you're preschooler lynn's cousin I'm about to whoop both of you back into preschool. I'm gonna slap you with the force palm, knock you right into first grade for challenging me, you little kids. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, you know, I'm sure preschooler Lynn is doing great. All right, guys. So next up, it looks like we're gonna be looking for a boat and heading towards Castelia City. If you guys have any tips on what we should do, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.